Have you ever wondered how airplanes fly? There's many different types of airplanes, each with their own unique design structure, but there's one fundamental principle of physics that all of them need in order to fly. This is known as Bernoulli's principle. So before we go into how the Bernoulli effect allows for the lift of an aircraft, let's talk about where it comes from. In essence, Bernoulli's principle is one of the most important discoveries in the field of fluid mechanics. Fluid mechanics is the study of the movement of fluids, and Bernoulli's principle goes into how fluid flow speed is affected by fluid pressure. The following equation represents Bernoulli's principle. The most important thing to note is how it is equated to a constant calculation, which allows it to be so reliable in solving fluid dynamic situations. Some ways that the equation can be applied to includes wind turbines and hydroelectric power plants. What this equation essentially means is fluid flows because of pressure differences in different parts of the fluid. Fluids in high pressure want to flow to low pressure areas. A faster flowing liquid has lower pressure. So let's talk about how this equation relates to an airplane. It all lies in the specific structure of the wing. Do you see how the top part of the wing is curved? Meanwhile, the bottom part of the wing is flat. The high pressure on the bottom of the wing as a result of the low velocity airflow wants to push up to the low pressure on the top, resulting in an upward force that overpasses the weight of the aircraft to produce lift. Bernoulli's principle is all about the airflow surrounding the wing. The most important takeaway is how the faster flowing air has lower pressure, which allows the plane to get off the ground. Next time you see an airplane up in the sky with your friends, make sure to let them know you know all about the physics that goes behind it. Thank